Can I help you? I'm Mr. Durbin. Have you come to see me or my mother? Your mother, sir. Pity. Well, she can't see you, I'm afraid. She's an invalid. You'll have to deal with me. And how much to settle the woes of dear Uncle Derbyfield? Pray, don't laugh at me, sir. I will not sit here and be laughed at by no one, by anyone. Tess, I didn't mean to We are good people, sir. I'm sure you are. If all you wish to do is tease and mock our Tess, situation... that's not what I intended at all. I apologise. Unreservedly. And what of you, Tess? What ambitions do you have? I want to be a school teacher. You'll make a fine teacher, I'm sure. That will require scholarship and training and books. And until I can afford to buy father a new horse. Well, I'll talk to mother. And I'll see what we can do. Oh, thank you, sir. I run away like this, without saying goodbye. Tess, please, come back with me and we can be friends. I will never set foot there again. Then why did you come? The other night, I did not understand your meaning. That's what every woman says. My God, I could knock you down. Did it never strike your mind that what every woman says, some women may feel? Tess, I did wrong. I admit it, I'm sorry that I hurt you. But I'm ready to pay to the utmost farthing. I will give you clothes so and I money. I should not take anything from you. Well, then I can say no more. I was born bad. I have lived bad and I shall die bad, most likely. But I won't be bad towards you, Tess. Not again. I'm going away to London for a while. But if certain circumstances should arise, just send me one line and you shall have everything that you need. You do understand my meaning, don't you, Tess? Let us part friends. One last kiss. What pleasure is there for you if it is against my will? Oh, come, Tess. Don't be melancholy. And now the other side. You will never love me, will you, Tess? I have never loved you, Alec. And I never will. I don't even hate you. I feel nothing. You are just dust and ashes to me now. We must be strangers now. Strangers? After what has passed between us, in the eyes of some, we are already married. Where is this husband, Tess? Far away. Far away from me. What kind of husband is he? Do not speak against him! It is because of you he left! But to neglect you, and to leave you to work in this place. Does he write? Does he provide money? Does he even know that you're here? Don't walk away from me! Answer me, will you? I was on my way to salvation when I saw you again. Why then have you tempted me? I was firm as a man could be until I saw those eyes. That mouth. Good God, was there ever such a face? Such a mouth. I cannot preach anymore. I cannot sleep. I close my eyes to pray to God and all I see is you. I must have you, Tess. Found yourself another fancy man, have you? There was a time I would have knocked you down for speaking to her like that. Long time ago now. I'm in charge here. Now you're just a trespasser. Know this one thing, Tess. I will have you. 